I posted something in my community section of YouTube regarding the state, the current state of AQ3D, and I want to cover it in this video. AQ3D appears to be at a crossroad. Over the last year, I've seen the player base drop lower and lower, and currently it's at the all-time low. I feel the devs need to adjust how updates are handled. Weekly updates work to an extent, but the content they work all week on takes us literally minutes to beat. Either the updates need to offer way more than they do, which is very difficult to do for the developers considering the lack of time, or they need to reevaluate the weekly updates. I'd be fine with monthly updates, but this could cause further financial issues for AQ3D. With the way things are going, the cost of the servers, the development fees, the lack of paying players, because this is a free to play game, things are not looking good. Earlier today, I read a comment, and that this was, I mean, three days ago when I posted this, but. I read a comment saying I should use my platform to help AQ3D. And honestly, I really feel like what I do has very little impact on anything that's going to actually, you know, make any changes. But it doesn't hurt to hear what the community feels about AQ3D's current state and what changes you feel would improve AQ3D as a game. And then asked people to provide that feedback. I'm going to be covering some of that feedback in this video. Honestly, the weekly release schedule should be re-evaluated for all their games. This is absolutely insane. They've kept it up for all these years, but it's starting to show its cons more and more. I'd be more than fine with bi-weekly or even monthly updates if we get more fleshed out and thoughtful content out of it. This is where I I feel like having a bi-weekly or monthly update would definitely be better overall for the content that we would get. I would like to reflect again back on their best update ever, which was the Ashfall Saga update. We waited months for that release and it was a huge success. How to fix AQ3D, make the game unique, stop the import of AQ World stuff and create new elements exclusive to AQ3D. Stop inserting the staff into the game, create characters that are unique and feel connected to the land, make us believe that they exist in the land of lore. Remove the weekly updates as a whole, they're grinding the skeleton crew into the ground and this is grinding the player base even more into the abyss. Release the perma rare items in a seasonal shop don't know, call it the legacy store, create the most praised aspects of the game, make polls about their favorite areas, stories, characters, and make more polls about what they would want, aka more grinds, more Darkovia -ish stories, more parkour, etc. Inform the players about the real status of the team behind the game. I'll leave it here for now, but my overall point is while this is a beautiful concept of a game, it has been badly managed so that we, if we open our wallets, the game would still be the same. Why, you might ask? Well, Nolgath came broken, not because of lack of money. The problem was the pipeline, the timeline, and administration. More money would have made no difference, especially since bugs have been present for almost eight years. I think AQ3D has a lot of small issues that are piling up. And largely, this is exactly what this is exactly what has happened over the years. Grind as content, huge maps with nothing in it. I have actually mentioned this multiple times in videos. Bad healing systems and a god-awful map travel system. This is another issue that we have seen time and time again, which is split between two menus, which is something I've also <laughs> mentioned having two travel menus. Why? Additionally, they're all but forgotten and that they have a main storyline. In fact, they seem to prioritize monthly pop culture reference releases or Dej Nolgath pandering over progressively or progressing any meaningful plot. Even when they do try to progress a story in some way, half the dialogue is jokes or the hero being a jerk and their writing is riddled with typos. It's frustrating to see because those of us who have played their other games know they can do better. So let me address this for one second. Now, the Dej Nolgath thing was supposed to be this big thing that was going to bring over the AQ world players. And the idea behind the quests for the Nolgath release, even though there was a lot of, you know, hate because of the extreme grind, they really do the AQ world quests justice. Like they are very much 
identical to what we experienced in AQ World when the Nolgath grind first came out. So the devs really nailed that in in that sense. What they didn't nail was the ambiance. It was to me the Nolgath thing. The maps were not Nolgathy. They were not. They did not remind me of Nolgath. The storyline even though i'm i'm i actually like it now because i've played it a second time playing through it the first time really did not give me the nolgath vibe not until we got to the oversoul and even then it wasn't what i was expecting in touch with the jokes now this is something that is an ae thing is to have you know dad jokes throughout some of their content now they can do very serious stuff if you take a look at the ashfall saga for instance and it's okay to have jokes here and there but to have them abundantly placed in the you know a, a serious story or what could be a serious story that i could understand being taken away but i would definitely love to see more meaningful plots they need to get another writer in there is what they would need because they don't have a writer for AQ3, or if they do, I don't know who the writer is for AQ3D. They used to have a writer, but I don't think they do anymore. Cicero left. Who's done the writing since Cicero? What can you improve? The base idea is niche, grind, grind, grind. You add something quick to grind, it's too easy. You add something hard to grind, it's too long. At the end of the day, we all just play this game because there's nothing better to do slash nostalgia. Now, I will admit, part of the reason why I play this game is because of nostalgia, but I've always been a long-term supporter of AE games because I've liked the simplicity behind their games, but they also have this ramping complexity you don't have to get into if you never want to. This is what I always enjoyed about their type of games. But you are right, a lot of it is grind. When they release three to four classes per year and story that really matters, players will come back. And this is another thing I have brought up time and time again. We need more classes. I don't care if they're class skins. We just need more classes. We need more progression and story would also be a big kick on that as well. I love the game because I wanted to get more powerful, gain levels, and defeat bosses for better gear. Not to wait until the next level caps to be raised. To be honest, after you get level max, once you get max level, there's no reason to grind and stick around just to have another guy with max level. And this is another problem. And I think the scaling system really impacted it in a negative way as well. It, why did that have to ever come into the game? I only started playing three days ago. It's a bit puzzling to level up and farm. I've played other MMOs, so I know it will take some time to get used to how things work in this game. But something I'd like to see is trading. Now, this is something that they have discussed in the past. But honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't ever see trading or an auction house ever arrive in the game. I really love playing AQ3D, but recently it's been super grindy. I actually really look forward to new maps and new quests. My personal fave was when Sand Sea was added. I found myself playing every single day and looking forward to opening the app as soon as I wake up. I wouldn't mind the update being delayed or taking longer if needed for better or longer content. I, I, I should almost make a poll to see, like, would you, do you guys want weekly updates and see how many of the player base would actually say yes? to that or would they be patient enough to wait i wish there were some hidden stories or easter eggs in the game or probably a tower system for players to challenge interesting a tower system pvp also needs to be mended and as well as well and there should be methods to let more stat distribution take place that's been a lot of people have mentioned that in the past as well Stats we gain are mainly from equipment, so character growth is in a standstill. Also, there should be some participation levels in PvP. Well, you, so you mean like being able to go up against somebody of your own skill level? Because that's one thing that PvP, I mean, if you're put up against a pre-stacked team, yeah, you've, you don't have very good odds of winning. Which they would also bring some better story concepts. The big problem with Arctic Entertainment is the management. They have too many games, and most of those games barely play but still get updates. They should just focus on AQ World and AQ World 3D. This way, both games get constant updates and get rid of the other games. Honestly, I would love to see more classes, like maybe a new magic class, or being able to have more attacks than just the skills from the class. Being able to switch them out would be nice, or maybe a beast tamer class. Okay, that would be really cool. 
But overall, if they made the purchases a little cheaper, for instance, one out of five might spend $20, but nine out of 10 would spend one or $2, make it cheaper and more people would spend money. But the price to finish a single collection is insane. This is a complicated one, to be honest, and I think it has a lot to do with how the game is structured. I also think the issue is actually twofold. The first problem with AQ3D is the grinding system, especially with none, especially for non-cosmetic stuff, is based a gather this many materials and make the equipment you want method, which works really well with new players getting into the game because they can progress without relying on RNG based rare drops to get equipment. The problem actually begins when you get to the latter stages of the game, you've got all the best equipment, which takes five to seven days max to grind. This method of gather this many materials, not only less approachable because it's a convoluted mess, it's also a lot faster, which leaves you with no activities to do. The second problem with that is this game which is really called Fashion Quest 3D. I like fashion as much as the next guy, but when 80% of the updates you do throughout the whole year is cosmetics related with no tangible benefit outside of the looks, then people are going to get bored fast. Messing around with a new outfit is fun for about an hour, maybe two, but it isn't enough to keep people hooked long term. The problem is that the weekly updates are straight up an hour of content, then it's back to the ridiculous Nolgath grind. And if you've done with if you're done with Nolgath, then there's nothing else to do, and there's no point playing until the next hour-long bit of weekly content. The humor of the game charmed me. It's still quite charming, but I found it too grindy, especially once we have to refocus on real life responsibilities. The game will always have a, heart, a spot in my heart because it brought me new friends and good memories during the COVID pandemic. They'd have no reason to be worried about monthly updates not being able to cover the cost of AQ3D if they believed they could release a stellar update at least once a month. Most MMOs games update once every three to four months and make a lot of profits. AE should start with bi-weekly updates then slowly switch to monthly. Honestly, they lost me with the Nolgath gear and what it takes to get the new gear. The fact they made it a pet cash grab was the last straw for me and I, I put quite a bit of money into it to be honest. AQ3D has never had to capture the same way that Dragon Quest and AQ World did. Something about the way those two games were able to focus on story but still offer fun gameplay made them addicting. But more often than not these days, I find myself spending more time, uh, spending my time on other games because I feel they respect my time more. I never mind grind in games when the grind respects my time, and I always felt like the AE grind had a habit of not respecting the time I put into it, especially as a casual player that doesn't have to play 24, doesn't have time to play 24/7. I'm absolutely, I'll absolutely be picking up AQ World when it drops, he means AQ World Infinity, and I hope it lives up to its expectations, but AE as a company makes games from a very different time in video game history. Unless they modernize their systems and practices, I don't know if they'll be able to come back from this brink. Now he makes a good point here, because it is like AE does make it from a different time nowadays. People have a very short amount, a very short attention span. They flip through TikTok, they flip through YouTube shorts. You know, 10 seconds is like the, the span of the typical human nowadays. Games like AQ World or AQ3D that have incredibly long grinds are a dying fad. Go back in time. Remember Ashfall? They were fully aware of what you're talking about, but last time they took their time to provide real content, people complained it took them too long, even though the quality was noticeably higher. And this was true. There, I mean, a lot of us did complain because it took so long to get the Ashfall saga. But then when it finally came out, we were like, wah! Kill X amount of things, collect things for quests that aren't really actual things, go to light marker and wait for 10 seconds, copy paste boss fights with no new dynamics. If you give yourself a week between updates, you will either lean on your reflexes, resort to cheap cliches of the genre, or run out of time. I don't play PvE anymore because I'm not interested in the same experience with the new facade. That said, housing and guild improvements were definitely welcome and could give the clearance to take the time they need to craft a novel and engaging PvE experience. Lastly, I know a lot of people want this Oracle class, and I'm one of them, but I don't think the solution is to flood the game with classes when they're just going to be applied to the same tired gameplay.
PvP was one of the greatest things in this game. It finally offered challenge and is a reason to stick to the game, to enter the game with a purpose. It has no pay to win and is a level balance. It's really fun despite the bugs and class balance problems. What made me drop it was the matchmaking. Like when you join the queue and go against full parties and have absolutely no chance of winning. Couldn't play it anymore due to frustration. Also, most of the releases in the game are pointless. Not funny memes. I know this game is not supposed to be taken seriously, but there are things they do that is just cringe. They're not worthy challenges, no good history, no good items, absolutely nothing to keep you online in the game. I don't think that there's anything that can be done to save the game. AE proved that they can make good updates, like part of the Nalgath Saga, Sand Sea, Arkengrove, but they can't make it with the necessity consistency, probably due to lack of personnel, too bad, because I have hundreds of hours in this game. I really thought it would be great in the future when I first started playing in 2016. 16. I felt like it had so much potential, but here we are about eight years since the game dropped, and it still looks like an unfinished pre-alpha. Maybe if they sell the game to a big company with the necessity necessary resources, it could solve the problems, but it would definitely come with others, like pay to win. And yeah, it would. <laughs> that's because that's one thing AE has strived to do is maintain, keep this game on a free to play level. But free to play games in this day and age are dying. Let's just hope that AQ3D is not one of those. They need to keep raising the level cap and adding new best in slot hard to obtain gear, or they need to start releasing at least two classes every year and stop with fashion cosmetic packages because currently the only updates they do is cosmetic. The game's no longer AQ3D, it's dress up in cosmetics that cost DC3D. <laughs> The game could survive monthly updates instead of weekly, but they would have to make it worth it. And I'm not sure they can keep that up. Gonna be honest, I stopped playing AQ3D because gearing up is annoying, especially the Nalgath Saga equipment. I honestly liked how many updates the game got in a little time, even if they were small things. But all my motivation dropped after getting my Betrayal Blade and the Phoenix gear. Getting them in the first place wasn't fun. Going here and there, getting the quest done, it's not fun, it's tedious. And when less and less players have the server, the more annoying it gets. Reason I liked playing AQ3D is how easy it's gearing up and even getting tons of armors to make cosmetics. I would say Atlantis was the most fun for me. Actually, I'm not, I'm just waiting for the next big update with new gear that I can farm like I did on Atlantis or with a less tedious method. Nolgath quest for equipment is just the worst way. So this response is actually similar to what another player had mentioned when they said AQ World content doesn't transfer well to AQ3D. We should all be using our platforms to help the game. We play it. We know what we want. It's not Willy Wonka or endless void derp waves. It's bosses. Organized content. Grinding badass looking items. It can't hurt to talk about what we like and what we don't. And I agree. When somebody posts something in regards to AQ3D, even a rant regarding AQ3D. They're not ranting because they hate the game. They're not posting negative comments because they hate the game. They're posting these comments because they're frustrated because they like the game and they want it to improve. Need more story and new areas. Housing is tremendous and a great way to make players play again, but it will die soon. I stopped playing because, well, there's really nothing to do now. It's just grinding for stuff, doing dailies, or hanging with guild members and friends. Also, I don't really care about the housing system. This is just me. I'll come back playing when there's something to actually do. I love the game a lot, but there's no end game. I don't see why adding some basic five player dungeon with rare armor drops is so hard. Give us a dungeon for Ash armor piece and let people group up and farm. Some kind of end game would be nice. The end game just kind of sucks right now. The grind for best in slot gear is so long, and once you get there, there's nothing to do. Trying to grind class XP isn't fun, at least for me, and PvP got ruined by pre-maids long ago. I don't know what they could do to save it either. Others say AQ3D devs are getting lazy, slow progress, especially in events and other stuff. So I will mention this, the devs are definitely not lazy. They work tirelessly on their projects. The problem is we don't see any of what it takes to make the game. I mean, just to make one little item, you think, okay, well, how hard is that? It's not as easy as you think. It's not just creating the art for it. You need to come up with the name, the description, 
there's a bunch of background stuff as well involving the database. Like it's to make one item is not like a five minute thing. It takes way longer. So you can imagine when you're trying to connect it all to a story, everything has to kind of sync in a certain way. It's it definitely involves teamwork and it is not easy. So yeah, lazy is definitely not in an AE employee spreadsheet. The only reason I play this game is just for wandering the maps and dressing up my character because most MMO games is anime themed character with like, you know, Genjin Impact or any other similar game, Asian style costumes, fan server service, characters with no bulky armor plate, demonic themed or naval commander themed costume. But for the gameplay, eh, meh. I've never purchased the Guardian package and focused on getting the free gold stuff and a max level. Also played AQ and AQ World, but this game was more interesting to me because it was 3D. Guild mates are great. Peeps, the cosmetics, great customization, truly an aesthetic for anyone who, if you have the time or the money. Housing, not bad. Otherwise, lag, rushed releases, fast travel, not consolidated, new maps, underwhelming or laggy. Please remove environmental animations or at least an option to turn them off because my device cannot handle them. May, main storyline seems to have been lost somewhere as the latest end quests feel very disconnected from what the player set out to do in the first place. Can't really search for guilds, instead you have to be invited and unless, unless the leader and officers are actively recruiting, it's kind of hard to get in. On the same note, some guildmates left for lack of a voice chat or discord, but then if the game adds a voice feature, the lag on mobile will be truly unbearable. I was honestly expecting to battle Vayne before Nalgath came out, as like Nalgath being a sequel to the main storyline and then leaving it open so they could explore another theme as a sequel to Nalgath and so forth. That would have meshed well with the grindy nature of the game, as there will always be a new threat to lore, and that's why the whole world is filled with strong characters. You know, plot, immersion, investment. I would like to help somehow. I really like this game and I want it to do well. It's just that I'm afraid it's going to jump out of the fishbowl and into the pot. The game is too easy, and I'm not talking about grinding items. Combat is just plain boring. There's no reason to mix classes for any content in the game. I think they focus on the combat system, focus a bit on team play using specific classes. The game would keep players a bit longer than it does now. Honestly, I get that the servers cost money to keep afloat and that AE likes to use that excuse to pump out weekly updates, but they should do away with that system already. No more weekly updates. They're almost always drunk and negatively received, especially as of late. They've done nothing for the game except frustrate and bore the dwindling player base. And when players like me, who have quit the game but still like to check to see if things have changed, see that they still are doing the same thing with no sign of improvement, there's no incentive for them to come back. I have to say, the housing update was one of the best recent content. The Nalgas Saga is a lot better than other sagas in the mechanical design and quest design, although too many repeated quests. The actual farming is innovative to an extent similar to Sea God's Raid and the Ogre's Lair. I enjoyed farming that gear and the cape, but I feel the weekly up schedule was more of a publicity stunt that got dragged too far, like, hey, we release the update every week. But that generally equates to an armor set that gets drip fed to us over weeks, when they need to fall back patch, cough, cough, cosmic, cough, cough, and slight event remasters, Earth Day, and then even Deja's birthday to an extent. I love the content in the game, but I feel like the content comes out in the wrong way or cadets like a class every three months, main story expansions every six, every month, a new dungeon or polished over old zones, even the new player experience is trash now. I honestly hate it compared to the old one, and I actually agree. I really don't like the new player experience either. I feel that the old one was perfectly fine, except that I didn't like the whole dungeon, like the, the layer. I didn't like the death's layer because it wasn't pretty, whereas in the new map is pretty. But still, no, I preferred the original. I actually preferred the original original when it was in War you have to go up against a war fiend. Like the very, very first, I preferred that, but it was just a placeholder apparently. I've played AQ3D for a long time and I feel like most of the players that remain within the game find it fun to hang out with their friends, play PvP, do dailies, 
AE could capitalize on those things, especially the PvP that has been neglected, even though there was a whole chunk of players that would love to see it continue to get better shape with new maps, skills, and etc. Give us more meaningful dailies. The usual routine of doing the same thing over and over gets boring. You need a whole new set of dailies so the game feels more fresh and keeps that freshness each time you log in. Finish the sagas that you've not finished yet. You got Sand Sea and Fiendlands contents that you can push out. As much as a lot of players hate the Nalgas saga, it was during that saga that a lot of the players stayed and the community felt tighter together. And that is true. And there was more feedback that was looked at by Fennel, who is a tester, it's the developer tester, which made the community feel unappreciated sorry feel appreciated because they were being heard because he was actually listening to the feedback of the players so it, it which is very important stop with the ideas like void divers bone zone that keeps the players hating and stop relying on hate as a source of publicity for the game it gives it a bad image it's really it's an easygoing game for most of us that is why we keep playing it yep that's that was it's an easygoing game there you go casual game it's an entry level mmo that's what it should focus on more classes extra set of skills diversity in play style is what we need in aq3d that might be lacking more so everyone just relies on the good old dps that will just b burst down everything but when Nalga Saga was around, I was happy to see Moglomancer being used, and so a lot of other people decided to build their stats around haste. We need more classes like that. I know housing is great and the community likes it, but take a break from it from time to time. Give us meaningful content to play the game instead of the update revolving around one collection. In the point of view from the player, when you see a two hour long update, for a server on it's only one collection is log in look at it and decide whether to buy it or not and log off that does not keep the player playing the game pvp needs updates it keeps the players playing for long periods of time implement a battle pass with that and you benefit the player was having fun too plus getting something out of it and actually i've brought up a battle pass idea years ago which i still think would be really cool especially i mean if they did tie that into pvp and if they make it so you don't have to win at pvp just play the game to earn the progression to unlock this you know pieces of battle pass stuff or something i think that'd be really cool they could invest on ads focusing on advertising as a cross-platform mmo aq3d may not be fully polished but it is promising i haven't played for almost two years now but i invested over 2000 hours on steam alone not a lot compared to some players this game is perfect for casuals or for those with lower end devices the game just lacks exposure they could also sponsor mobile gamers and content creators from 3d world countries or third sorry from third world countries with a lot of followers those places generate a lot of players especially if they if it means interactions with this said content creator charlie didn't click because he's from a first world country and we all know this game doesn't really appeal to his fan base Th this is another thing i i felt like the promotions that they did do for the game was targeting the wrong audience they don't necessarily need to do a map or quest line but just pay the creators and the creators deal with their event giveaways and stuff that's how those random chinese korean mmos generate a lot of players personally i'd like to see more classes like berserker you know those tier two classes so far warrior is the only one that has a tier two class so mage rogue and healer need one to make it even not everyone can afford guardians so it helps having classes people can grind for and i agree i think that would be awesome dang looks like everything is catching up with itself at ae i have to say it though people and especially gold raven needs to stop being yes men uh, I'm not, but I will get into that in a minute. All these problems have been around for years and everybody just ate the poop AE gave them acting like it was fine and that it'll get better and they're working on it. No, once you said it was good, they felt it was good enough and moved on to the next $20 cosmetic package or 20 minute update. The hole is far too deep to climb out of it at this point. The workflow is very hard set now. If this game recovers, it'll be a miracle. Add real trading an auction house and it would come back i did pay for that feature to be in the game when i backed the kickstarter and trading was on the game plan after all so th that is true the the game plan did mention trading but it had never actually been part of the kickstarter as in a guaranteed thing it was just one of the features they hoped to have in the game 
As for the Yes Men stuff, I would have to disagree with that. I have brought up multiple complaints regarding the game and stuff. It took me years to get to that position where I felt comfortable enough to critique the issues that a lot of players had with it. But the stereotype has stuck that I don't critique the game or stuff, which is very, very not true. Game feels absolutely awful as a new player. Classes feel bland and the mobs are too spongy. Gearing doesn't feel impactful while leveling. Whole game has all the downsides of AQ World grinding with none of the rewards. Honestly, it's gone boring. Too repetitive, too grinding, offers little to no satisfaction. Take that from me as someone who played since beta, but only stayed for like a week, a year, or until I reached the current max. I literally come and go unlike other MMOs. By record, AQ3D is the game with the longest playtime I've ever reached till today at about 1,500 hours, mobile and PC combined. I was really looking forward to playing it, even back the project on Kickstarter. AE could take a route that maybe will increase their revenue so players are more encouraged to spend money. Add a geisha with generous rates and pity system instead of putting exclusive items behind bundles and a fixed price. I know it's kind of frigged up to suggest adding geisha, but take a look at the charts. Things like having to grind 10 hours just to be able to get a single item in an up is outdated in my opinion. Yes, they play the game so much because of it, but it costs AE money to make sure they keep grinding while AE gets nothing in return. Shortcuts for obtaining classes is already implemented in AQ Worlds and AQ3D. For those with disposable incomes, might as well spend 2,000 ACs to buy a class rather than sitting in front of the PC grinding for hours to get that rank 10 reputation. What would be a good thing for that what players could obtain from Geisha is classes. If PvP enthusiasts are worried that there would be a class is too powerful, that they would be obtainable only through Geisha, AE could find a workaround and make sure all classes is balanced while in PvP. But let those who have them unleash the class, class's raw overpoweredness in PvE content. I really think they do need to have OP classes added into the game now. It's been eight years. I mean, we can now get a VHL. Another good thing for the Geisha is weapons that actually boost your stats and not just cosmetics. Also, must be balanced in PvP, but let it go crazy in PvE. That's about it. Don't add too much into the Geisha system or else players will feel overwhelmed. Armors, helms, transformations stays out of the Geisha. AE must adapt to the current meta of monetization models. One problem with AQ3D is they need to advertise the game more like ads. There hasn't been a single ad of AQ3D and been playing it for years. It's one of those non-pay-to-win mobile MMOs that should be a main selling point of the game and they should advertise it more. And also it takes forever to release a new class. What's up with that? About the player drop, I think a majority of those players are just waiting for a new update worth playing. And it took me over an hour to read 129 comments, but I'll be editing this down to a more watchable size. But I hope you guys enjoyed. What was your favorite comment? Who do you agree with in regards to the current state of AQ3D? Can it reclaim its glory years or is it slowly going down the tube? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.